As you see here, over the past five years, 3M is down over 50%. But during that same time frame, we've been trading neutral to bullish option trades against 3M, and yet we're up over $27 per share. How did we do that? Well, stick around. I'm going to show you in this video. 3M is getting attacked from a lot of different angles from a lot of different lawsuits. So its future is uncertain. But based on its normal 18 price to earnings ratio, it's trading at about a 45% discount. Now understand there's a lot of risk right now when it comes to 3M. So this video is not a suggestion to buy 3M or to trade bullish options in it. However, it is a very good stock to share with you all the trades we've done over the past five years to help you see how you can potentially avoid losing money on a position that's gone against you in a big way. As you're going to see, even though 3M is down over 50% over the past several years, we're actually up in our bullish and neutral positions against that same company. In just a minute, I'm going to share a spreadsheet with you of all the option trades we've done against 3M over the past five years. But first, let's talk through the chart so you have a good grasp of what's been happening to 3M when it comes to stock price. The trades I'm going to share with you on the spreadsheet in just a minute go back to the beginning of 2019. So it goes back to this area back in here with 3M. Notice that since then, 3M has declined over 50%. Every time it tries to break out from this bearish trend to a bullish trend, it ends up getting reversed. Notice where you see the white lines? Those trying to switch from a bearish to a bullish trend. Notice here in 2019 that it made a new higher high on this weekly chart. We see the same thing in early 2020. Again, it made a new higher high, but it too failed. Now looking at 2020 through the end of 2021, again, we see that it actually did switch from a bearish trend to a bullish trend, but ultimately, it too failed. During that time frame, it broke out above both the green 50 and red 20 moving average on this weekly chart, but ultimately it failed. And since then, we see it's been trading below both the green 50 and red 20 moving average on this weekly chart. So if you were trading options in it, you very well may have been in positions that went against you. That's exactly what happened to us. So how do we do it? How do we successfully trade options using a bullish to neutral strategy against a stock that's declined over 50% over the past five years? Well, here you see Excel spreadsheet of all the trades we've done against 3M over the past five years. In column D, you see the trade that we did. SP stands for sold put. You have the date, which is April 2019. You see the strike price of the put option we sold was 150 in this top line. Notice that overall in this brown section, we're selling the 150 to 170 cash care put options. Fast forward to the yellow section, you see we began to sell lower strike price put options. In fact, the one we sold in February of 2020 was actually the 145 strike price. You see the June option we sold was the 135 strike price. So as 3M was starting to decline, we're rolling our cash care put option strike prices down. Eventually though, as you see here, we were assigned 100 shares of 3M. Now I wanna focus on the line 14 here for just a minute. Because as you see here, we were actually assigned 100 shares of 3M. We bought them at 170 per share on February 19th. Fast forward six months later to August, and we sold those shares for 160 per share. So we actually took a $10 loss in the stock ownership. However, we were selling covered call options against that stock the entire time. And I'll go into a little more detail about that covered call strategy in just a minute. Notice that periodically, since we own stock and we're doing covered calls, we also collected some dividends. Now, as I scroll down here, you'll see a lot of trades that we did. And again, notice that we're adjusting the cash care put option strike prices as the stock is moving against us. Here on line 37, you see again another instance we were assigned stock at a higher price than we ended up selling it at. We bought it at the 175 strike price because the cash care put options we sold against it. And several months later, we sold it at 135. That's $40 per share less than what we were assigned the stock at. And the reason is that we had sold cover call options at that 135 strike price. So it looks like we take a big loss on that. But in reality, we collected so much premium during that time frame that it helped cushion that potential loss that we realized on just buying and selling the stock. Now, as I continue to scroll down here, keep an eye on the strike prices we're selling these cash secure put options at. So we see we're strolling down here. So we sold the 105. Here you see the 100, the 95. And now I've kind of switched my spreadsheet over to help you see the strike prices easier as this column E is now the strike prices that we're selling. So overall, we're dealing with a stock that's experienced a very strong decline over the past several years. Its value has basically been cut in half. And yet during that same time frame, we've realized a profit of over $5,400 against 3M by selling options in it. If you do the math, based on the approximately 200 shares we've been trading in it, we've pocketed a net profit of over $27 per share. We would adjust our cash care put option strike prices as much as possible by rolling the strike prices down as we roll them out. And on occasion when they were assigned to us, which happened three times, we'd be willing to sell cover call options below the strike price that we were assigned the stock at or had to buy the stock at. Here you see on this position, we took a $10 loss. On the one I mentioned earlier, we took a $40 loss. We bought the stock at 175, we ended up selling it at 135 because of covered calls we sold against it. And then the most recent one, at the end of 2022, we took a $45 loss per share. However, that was more than made up 
by the covered calls that we were selling. Notice just this one trade here, we put a net into our pocket of $652. We sold the $115 covered call, we are paid $4.29 per share for selling that call, had to buy it back for $1.02 per share, so we walked away with a net of $652. We did this over and over and over again, so much so that in the end, even though 3M has gone way down, we actually have a decent profit in it. Now, obviously, if we had known that 3M was gonna go down this much, we probably would've just bought some leaps, put options against it, and done really well. But you never know exactly how positions will play out. You can do things to put the odds in your favor, but ultimately, things just happen. And this is one of the worst performing stocks we've traded in over the past five years, so I thought it was the perfect example to show you how you can use options to manipulate and maneuver positions that when they go against you, they can actually still turn out in your favor. So can you really trade options without ever losing money? Well, if you trade long enough, the odds are no. You're gonna end up losing money on some positions. But as you've seen here, if you know how to manage, adjust, and maneuver positions properly using options, you can turn a lot of losing potential positions into winners, into cash flow machines that put money into pocket every single month. That just might enable you to never, or more realistically, very infrequently, have losing positions over the long term. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. There are lots of things you can do to repair stock and option positions that go against you using options. If you'd like to see some of my favorites, I've dedicated a whole video series on some of the tricks I like to use to repair positions when they go against us. I'll leave that video link above and down in the description below. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.